This is our second training session. The very first one we did, we worked a little bit on luring. So being able to guide him around places that lets us do things like this. And get him up on the place cot. Good boy. But it also lets us, once he finishes, Dallas. There was only one piece there. Dallas. But it also lets us work on walking him in a heel. So I can have him next to me. There we go, and practice turning. Good boy, he has no idea what he's doing right now, but he's getting used to walking next to me. But it also lets us guide him over good and work him into a sit or into a down. Sit, good. idea what that release word means yet, but the second his butt hits the ground, stand up, sit, break. I say the release word and pull the treat away a little bit so that he gets used to, oh, I hear that word means I stand up and I go get a snack. yesterday for just a minute is pairing the word good and then follow it up with a treat so the treat always comes after the word the word marks that he's going to get a snack in a minute so I'll show you how we use that and these are all just his dry food that he's working for right now sit since he already knows how to sit good boy break trying to get him used to the pattern that he comes on, sit, and he sits. Good boy, break. So this will be the place command where he's able to go onto an object, sit, and stay there. He can also switch to laying down, but for now we just stick with that sit. Mark it with a good the second his butt touches the ground in the position I want, and then immediately release him. He has no idea what that means yet, but like I said, we're building that little foundation. So in the future, I won't have to guide him onto it, obviously. I'll just tell him. And he's automatically offering that sit without the question to break. Here we go. that said he's doing the command exactly the way I want it already before I've added the command word so that we call that don't name it until you love it so I already love what he's doing he's going on and he's automatically sitting I'm gonna practice it a couple more times to get it a little faster good job he's getting down to the bottom of his food so he's a little less hungry good Break. There we go. So we'll do that a couple more times and then I'll show you the next clip will be what it looks like at the end of the day. The end of the day place. Good. Been able to start at all place. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
everything is just inside. Once he perfects it inside, we can move through the same process of reteaching it outside. One thing people don't know a whole lot about when it comes to dog training is that <laughs> there are a couple different steps to it. So there's the acquisition where he's still figuring out what I want. So in this case for place, that would be the guiding him onto it where he has no idea what I'm asking for yet. where I can say the word and he automatically goes there because he knows what it means. So, place. He's only done it from right next to it, so this is a good example of how he's not fully at automation yet. Once he can do it out here, then we can start moving out and about. So the same command that he's learned in here that, oh, it means go to this specific location. In here, we'll start with just going to a different location. So let's try that now, actually. Let's see what he thinks about this one. step first to help him out. Good. Sit. Sit. Uh -oh. No punishments for that right now because I hadn't really asked him for anything yet. I do want him to do that sit, but I'd rather him not be having fun. You got it. You got it, little bud. 